Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to another one of our reviews here on YouTube. Today we're going to be reviewing the Lambo, the L-Rider Lambo 6.0. Wait a minute. I've seen a big reviewer on here on, on YouTube reviewing their 4.0. And this is like two years old. How could this be the 6 and then this person be reviewing the 4? And indeed the 4.0 is Lambo's latest mod. How can that be? And this person gave it a pretty good review. Because um, they got it for free. Reviewers that get stuff for free on YouTube coming up next. <music> So I'm holding in my hand the uh, L-Rider Lambo 6.0, which I got about two years ago. I purchased it online, and um, it's yesterday's news, you know, it's it's long, it looks like a Proveri, and uh, does it vape okay? Yeah, it does. Of course, I've got uh, the Nautilus uh, tank on there. Lambo is not known for their quality per se. Now, as of late, they uh, they're putting out products that are sort of yesterday's news. You know, they're coming out now with 20 watt um, tube mods. You know, and sending them out for review to people. Um, now, um, this video is not about the Lambo itself. It's about uh, reviewers that get stuff for free online and uh, my opinion about it. Okay. Now, everything that to date that I've reviewed. Um, whether it be whether it be this which I haven't reviewed but I will or whether it be this or whether it be this or whether it be this I purchased <laughs> um, now I'm sure uh, all of you have seen um, the big reviewers that um, that go to their UPS store and they come out with a bunch of uh, boxes and packages and um, you know free stuff that they've gotten and they're bragging about it and they do give some of the stuff away as well which is good which is nice not coming out of their pocket but they don't have to by the way this t-shirt the vapor beast um, I bought as well you can get it from their site as well so um, uh, anyway, back on, on point, uh, not every reviewer that gets stuff for free reviews things irresponsibly. Um, I can tell you the ones that do so responsibly, in my opinion. People saw it was up there. They sent him something free. He's going to give it a, a, you know, a fair and honest review. Um, he's going to put the product through you know, uh, weeks of testing, and he's going to get down to the nitty-gritty. And if the, product re if the product requires a bad review, he will give it to them. Um, I think Grim Green also does a pretty good job at that. I think Matt and Vanessa over at Suck My Mod also do a good job at that. And um, that's where I draw the line. I think some of the others are getting free stuff and consciously or subconsciously they are putting out uh, mediocre to good reviews because, well, they got stuff free. Free stuff is good. Um, irresponsible reviews is what I'm going to talk about now. And that has to do with a review that I saw one uh, once, and it's from a, a person on here that gets um, that has a, a lot of subscribers, um, sort of uh, tagging along with somebody else that's really popular. So this person got an atomizer uh, once uh, tank, and um, obviously they did not um, open up the tank and try it before the camera went on so they um, they put it onto their they put it onto their battery or their mod and nothing happened didn't power up didn't power up two or three times this person said well it's not working sorry guys you know can't give this a good review because it's not working and that was that and um, and gave it a crashing bad review when the only thing that was needed was the uh, bottom post needed to be pulled a little bit or adjusted and it would have fired up just fine. Um, I'm not sticking up for the product. The point is that when you are sent something, especially if it's something free, 
you should sort of um, test the product out first and then if something happens and you have a question, contact the manufacturer or the vendor or somebody before you go on out there and give a, an irresponsible review and then on to the next video. Some companies, some um, folks that put out these things, they're investing money, they're putting money into it and for a person on YouTube that has a large following and is getting a lot of free stuff and is just putting stuff out there boom boom one day after the other um, to give an irresponsible review is, is to me um, um, unethical and unfair really to the company that you know that they're um, that they're evaluating and testing you know um, it's not fair to give an atomizer a horrible bad review that doesn't even work when all you needed to do is something that's pretty common that's pull the post on the bottom so it'll work I'm not sticking up for the product and I'm not doing anything other than the fact that uh, I'm calling for um, responsible reviews especially if you get stuff for free you know um, I started this channel because I wanted to provide on the surface type reviews and I wanted to be and I am very sincere about things um, but certain things that I see online do bother me um, when I started on YouTube in 2006 it was a vlogging channel I still have it and I was pretty successful I reached out to a wonderful um, young lady named Ann Spade who was very talented she's a singer um, and um, she helped she helped my channel out and then I helped her out by by um, lobbying that she become a YouTube partner at the time it was difficult to do I was and then she wasn't and I tried you know I did a lot of stuff to get her um, YouTube partnership and it was that, that type of community you know with the vaping um, what I'm seeing is and this is my opinion you guys can chime in on the bot uh, on the in the comments but um, you know um, the community is on the surface really nice you know we're all nice and we're all one big family but not really not really I've reached out to different channels um, not huge ones you know different channels smaller ones you know and um, they have this what I call celebrity mentality you know can you help my channel out you know I'm starting to I'm getting trying to get it off the ground trying to get some subscribers give some you know uh, some free stuff away I'm giving cash away um, well what's in it for me this is the reply I get what do I get or you get no reply at all um, as a matter of fact the only channel that has supported me in that uh, marketing I guess if you will uh, effort um, was suck my mod uh, the folks over there with, uh, with Matt and Vanessa they did uh, mention my channel and I've gotten some good subscribers from them and uh, kudos to them it's a stand-up channel and a stand-up thing to do I've been watching them since they started uh, but I've been watching a lot of the others also since they started and nobody cares <laughs> no help nothing so um, and these are the folks, the folks that I wrote to are a lot of these folks that get stuff for free and so if it's nothing in it for them. They've actually, one person actually wrote to me and said, what's in it for me? And I'm like, well, interestingly enough, um, I'm the kind of person that if you do something for me, if you help me out, you will get something in return. Okay? No doubt about it. But I don't offer it when I come to you and if you say, what, what, what's in it for me? It's a total turn off. So I've been, um, this is a little bit of a rant, uh, and I've been a little bit disappointed in the vaping community in the sense that there's so little support uh, for a new channel, you know, and so it is what it is. Uh, but people that get stuff for free, um, I think in my opinion, they get, whether it's consciously or subconsciously, uh, it has to be said that they're somewhat influenced. I think, uh, I think they're influenced to give you somewhat of a biased review, with the exception of the channels that I mentioned, like Grim Green and Suck My Mod and P. Bizardo. Those channels will give you an honest review. If they get something and they feel it's crap, they're gonna say it's crap. But there's a couple others, and I'm not gonna mention them. You probably can imagine who they are. Just not, uh, not the most reliable reviews. They just they're just happy and jolly to get free stuff, keep getting free stuff, and uh, posting reviews every single day about the free stuff, whether it's responsible reviews or not. Here we go, and onward we go. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. Remember, I'm giving away $15 cash at the end of the month. We're going to pick the winner. We're almost there. We're not, we don't have that many entries. I'll put the link below on the, um, 
on the description of the video so you can check out the video and do what you have to do. It's very simple to become eligible and somebody's going to get $50 cash from me. I promise you. So uh, thanks for watching another one of my videos. And as always, please vape and vape safely. Don't push the batteries. And, and as always, as always, support your local vape shop. Wonderful.